Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to What's Up 340. Look at the sky, look at the scenery. Look at that beautiful white horse in the field. I'm not sure there's ever been a more perfect day to ride a bike. I'm back on my gravel bike today and um, having done two or three consecutive rides back on my Cervelo on smooth tarmac, I have to say, this is feeling a bit sluggish and heavy today. I do have the ridiculous flat pedals that are on there for Emma. And obviously, frame bag, two water bottles. So it could be lighter, but uh, I'm planning on staying out and enjoying this weather for, for quite a while, I think. So I came prepared. I am supposed to be doing a Zwift race tonight, the mini crit, but I've just signed up to do a 100 mile gravel race on July the 4th with none other than WKG's Mr. Everest himself, Paul Pickles Nichols. And it occurred to me, I haven't ridden 100 miles on any surface for a long time. I haven't even done 100 kilometers off-road ever. So probably be a good idea to get out, get some miles in. I have basically six weeks Get myself fit for this thing and in the last six weeks all i've done is be ill and eat so i've got a long way to go see this place here the chalet that is um david gold's house you know the owner of west ham football club now there should be a path on my right down here somewhere which I really can't afford to miss. Oh, was that it? I think I might have just missed it. All right, no, it wasn't that one. Aha, here we go. It's just before this bridge. So if I'd missed this, I'd have ended up on a very busy dual carriageway. I'm not ridden this route for quite some time, so there is a, as always, a distinct possibility I'm going to get lost somewhere and I think the last time I did ride it it was very flooded so this should be more enjoyable oh yeah proper mountain bike stuff but at least it's dry whoa that's a new down tree that definitely wasn't here last time I'm going to have to pull over in a minute and do a little bit of bike maintenance. I haven't sorted out the squeaky brake that uh, Emma's been suffering with and it's doing my head in. Oh, look at these baby cows. Let's check these out. All the little calves and one big bad mama right there. That is a big fella. Pleasant, just in time. Don't mean to be too graphic, but that's what I was like when I had Corona. Bye cows, I'll probably be coming back this way in a moment. Just want to find somewhere quiet and out of the way to uh, tackle these brakes. My little trick of recentering the caliper hasn't worked. I've actually taken the wheel off, tried to clear out the dust from inside the caliper. Still squeaks. Just gonna have to put up with it until I can get home and uh, properly have a go at it. Yeah, I'm not catching him. Ah, got my hopes up there. It appeared as though the squeaking had gone. It's back. Oh yeah, this bit's steep. And I remember the last time I rode up here, it was very slippy. This is like chalky dust. And when it gets wet, these tires are no good for it. And neither are my legs. Yeah, I'm in the easiest gear now. Churning away. Oh. Oh. In this heat, 
That was a hard climb. Not helped by the fact that it has little steps every 10 meters or so. Oh. Now the reward. Downhill with a nice cool breeze in my face. I don't want to be morbid, but there's something that's been left on this bench that's really choked me up. I think that's kind of a sign of the times. I don't know if you can read that. Well, you picked a beautiful spot, Mr. Ian Reynolds. I don't know you, have no idea who you are, but uh, rest in peace. That's all right, thank you very much. I don't understand bikes. <laughs> no, mine doesn't either. So. <laughs> thank you. I'm into proper mountain bike territory now. In fact, this is one of the routes I tried when I first got this bike and I came off the back of the bike and couldn't unclip on a really steep climb and much to my embarrassment, a mountain biker turned up and had to help me as I lay there, still clipped in with my bike on top of me. <laughs> That's pretty sick, that drop down there. I absolutely love this place. I've been walking here with Obi and the kids a lot recently, but as I say, I first discovered it on this bike and there's just some amazing hidden gems within these woods like this rope swing here that swings over that ditch and there's nobody that's going to come across on camera but that is ooh, 35, 40 foot deep so the idea is you walk across this log get on that rope swing and swing out over that drop. So the race we're doing is called the XC Trail 100 Trail or something. Hang on, I'll check my phone. Right, I was completely wrong. It's called the CX Century South Downs 100. And it is 100 miles from Winchester to Beachy Head. My biggest concern at the moment, apart from riding 100 miles off road, is it's not a loop, so I'm going to start one place and finish 100 miles further away. So do I get a hotel at the start and leave the car there? Do I get, and then will I be brought back? Do I get a hotel at the finish, leave the car there and get a train to the start? Do I not bother with a hotel at all and just get a train? Mind you, it starts at, I think I saw somewhere, 5 o'clock in the morning. So. I think a hotel the night before is definitely going to be the way to go. So why am I doing a 100 mile gravel ride on the 4th of July? Quite simply, since the realisation that our NC500 was going to have to be postponed until next year, I realised that was basically the motivation for all the training I was doing, keeping a kind of a watch on my diet and um, as soon as that, the inevitability of that being cancelled hit me, and obviously I didn't, I was unwell for a little while, uh, but basically I just backed off on the training and upped my eating game. So, this looks like a perfect opportunity, assuming it does go ahead, I will up my gravel riding distance and severity to lose some weight, get some fitness, and to have achieved something close to a 100 mile ride on gravel prior to this race. I say it's a race, is it a race or a ride? I think it actually is a race. The other reason for doing it, obviously, is it means I get to finally meet Pickles in person. He's such an active and admired member of WKG. And obviously we had to cancel our new forest ride as well, a month ago, when it, oh, it was a month ago, wasn't it? 28th, 29th of March, we were due to do that. So two months ago, nearly. So didn't get to meet him then. So it'll be lovely to meet up with him. At the moment, it's all nicey nicey talk about how we're going to ride together. I think he's overestimating 
my ability to stay with him for 100 miles. I mean, he's cruising at pretty much my FTP. So I'll tell you now, Mr. Pickles, no, Mr. Nichols, <laughs> feel free to bomb on ahead. We'd be nice and social for the first couple of miles and all the rest of it, but there would be no hard feelings if I'm slowing you down. You go and enjoy your event. You've paid for it as much as I have, so go and do your thing. But let me get you on camera first, anyway, to be part of the vlog. So that's why, that's what it is. I'm super excited. I'm pooping myself, obviously, because this is a, that is a big challenge for me, given my current state. But one thing I will definitely do is put my other pedals back on. It's a lot harder riding with these flat pedals. Just from this one ride, I can tell the difference massively. And I'm constantly wanting to lock my feet in. I'll just put those super duper titanium Crank Brothers egg beaters uh, that Peter Wilson sent me. I'll put those straight back on. I might put my lighter saddle back on, maybe. But it's going to be a full day in the saddle, so I will be having to carry some stuff with me as well. So it's not going to be like a lightweight adventure. Anyway, I'm just going to rehydrate and then uh, head for home, I suppose. I've kind of reached the end of this loop. Jump! Whoa! Woohoo! Oh yes! Oh, that was great fun. Oh, this makes a bit rough. Oh, oh! That woke up the old walnuts. Wow! Oh, yeah. Right, I am an absolute wimp when it comes to descending on the road. Very cautious, can't stand it, if I'm honest. But I've got to say, doing it on a little empty trail like this is great fun. And yes, I do realise that basically makes me more of a mountain biker than a road biker. So that's most of the rough stuff done. I'm going to come back past my little llama friends. I've now got this lovely smooth road virtually all the way home. This is now driving me insane. If that starts squeaking like that on a 100 mile ride, I'm throwing the bike away and going home in a taxi. And after 21 kilometers, I'm back at the cows. There's that big white bull at the back there. Oops, I might be in trouble. I just took a phone call from Emma. I'm supposed to be at home starting a barbecue. Oh. It's now 10 past six. I think they were expecting me back a lot earlier than now. And I've probably still got a good 15, 20 minutes before I get home. No, you don't need to bark, do you? You mean good boy. It already smells like a barbecue's cooking. But obviously it's not ours. Anyway, I made that back in about seven minutes, I think. So, no harm done. All right, that was an absolutely glorious ride. Enjoyed every second of it. I only did about 25K, so I've got a long way to go to build up to my, the big Paul Nichols ride. But it's a start. Made harder, actually, by the, the sun. I love riding in the heat, but wow, it was draining. Right, so, I think that's it. Thank you all very much for watching. Oh, these jerseys. Thank you, guys, seriously. I. I was joking about it as it being a, a sort of sale scheme to shift a load of fake wrong jerseys or whatever, but you guys got me out of a serious pickle by buying so many of these and um, I can't thank you enough. I'm really, really grateful. And as I mentioned before, everybody that's holding fire for their the proper F111 special edition jerseys, and there's about 70 of you, uh, I'm trying to organize a, a little freebie, a little special treat, just, as, uh, just to show my my gratitude for how great you've been about this whole situation so thank you all very much um right i'm definitely not doing the mini crit tonight so if you are enjoy it i will be doing the time trial tomorrow night and although it's lucas's birthday on friday night he is i believe going to stay at his girlfriend's which means i should be free for the rgt race on friday night of course yet to be determined on that as far as i know anyway i'm waffling and uh, so i will stop and go and light the barbecue